foundations of amateur radio. During the week, I climbed on my roof and installed a base antenna for the 2 meter and 70 centimeter band. The antenna is a Diamond X300N. It's 3 meters tall, has a gain of 6.5 dB on 2 meters and 9 dB on 70 centimeters. I've owned it for just under 8 years, and this week I finally took it out of the box and installed it. I know, I know. In my defense, you shouldn't rush these things. Truth is, until this week I really didn't have a realistic way of installing it. Several factors needed to come together. Some of them trivial, others less so. In the end, the antenna is now installed on my roof, connected via coax through my roof to my radio. Now before we get all excited about what that means, let's compare my previous outdoor setting to the current one. Today I'm using LMR 400 coax, 30 meters of it. Previously I used RG58, but only 20 meters of it. From a coax perspective, even though I increased the length by 30%, my loss actually went down. On 70 centimeters, it went down by over 4 dB. If you recall, 3 dB loss is the same as losing half your signal. So before my 5 watts even got to the antenna, I'd already lost more than half of it using RG58. I will mention right now that the numbers I'm giving here are purposefully not exact. There's no point. Your situation and mine are not the same, and my two installations are barely equivalent, so actual numbers don't help you. The point I'm making is that the type of coax you use to feed your antenna can make a massive difference. In my case, that difference means that half of my 5 watts never even made it to the antenna. In addition to this, the two antennas are different. Not by much, but enough to make a difference. As I sing on the cake, the new antenna is longer by a third. So my new antenna has a better horizon, it's higher off the ground even if it's installed at a similar height. You might recall that loss and gain are dependent on frequency, so any calculation needs to be done for each band you're going to use. In my case, I had to do this twice, once for the 2 meter band and once for the 70 centimeter band. I should also mention that depending on the SWR of your antenna, the losses also change, but let's not go there today. If you want to actually figure out what this means for your station, the calculation goes a little like this. Take the power output from your radio, subtract the coax loss, and add the antenna gain. The end result is a number that represents the gain, or loss, from the entire system. If coax loss and antenna gain are the same, you're not losing anything, but you're also not gaining anything. The reward for the aches and pains from climbing on and in my roof are represented by the fact that now my 5 watt signal on 2 meters effectively became 10 watts. On 70 centimeters, it became 13 watts. With the added height and gain, in addition to being able to hit all the local repeaters, I can now hear the local beacon, and I've successfully decoded the JT4 and JT65 messages that the beacon spits out. It's only been a week, but it's already made a massive difference. No doubt my on-air experience will also benefit from this adventure. Unfortunately, to do this for yourself is not quite as simple as giving you a link and punching in the numbers. I won't make any promises I cannot keep, but I'm looking into it. I'm Ono, Victor Kilo 6, Foxtrot Lima, Alpha Bravo.